everybody, Dan with Gear Focus here, and today we're going to be talking about the new 7.3 firmware for the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema cameras. There's a lot of really cool features packed into this new firmware update, so let's go ahead and roll that intro, we can jump right into it. So first, let's make sure that we are updating our camera the correct way. First thing that you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you back up your preset to your camera. So all you need to do for that is take an SD card and put it in the SD card slot. And then we're gonna go ahead and go over to the presets tab in our menu. We're gonna hit the plus sign. Then from there, it's gonna save your preset. After the preset is saved, you can go ahead and press the double arrow down at the bottom to save it to the card that is in your camera. Once it's saved to your camera, you can go ahead and remove that SD card and set it aside for later. All right, now that that's done, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect any electronic components that we have on our Blackmagic rig. I literally just have mine set up right here and I have my V-mount plugged into it and that everything else is unplugged. You wanna disconnect everything from your HDMI port, anything that would be an electrical connection you wanna disconnect. That might seem like a bit of overkill, but you would rather be safe than sorry. But you do wanna make sure that your camera has a constant, consistent power source like a V-mount battery, or you can just plug it in to your wall. So now our next step is to go ahead and download the firmware from the Blackmagic website. I went ahead and I put the link to the firmware down in the description down below, so you can go ahead and just follow that right to the page. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead under professional cameras, and we're gonna scroll down till we see Blackmagic camera 7.3 update. Now I'm on a Windows machine, so I'm gonna go ahead and download the Windows version. And you can register it if you want to. I normally don't do that and just hit download only and it'll go ahead and download this zip file for me. So once you have your firmware downloaded, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna extract the zip file. Then we're gonna go ahead and open it. And then from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run this install cameras v7.3.exe application. And this is gonna go through all of the install stuff. So we're just gonna go ahead and click through this, hit install, and it's gonna do its thing. Okay, and then once your install is done, you can go ahead and hit close. And we're gonna close out all of this. So we're gonna go ahead and search for the Blackmagic Camera Setup app. And then we're gonna go ahead and plug in our camera via the USB-C port. And now from here, it's actually really, really simple. All you're gonna do is hit the Update Now button, and it's gonna go ahead and do its thing. So now that our camera's updated, I wanna to talk to you guys about some of the new features that are in 7.3. The first one that I wanna to talk to you guys about is the RGB histogram. Before we were just getting a luminance histogram, which was giving us our overall exposure for all of our colors, which was great. I used it all the time, it worked really, really well. But now we have an RGB histogram, so we can actually see which colors are peaking and which colors are where on our histogram. We also have indicators for whether or not we have colors peaking. Now the only other camera that I've personally used that has this feature is a RED camera. I'm sure there are other cameras out there that have this feature, but I've not used them. And this is actually gonna be a pretty decent upgrade to my workflow with this camera. The next part of the update that I wanna talk about is the new compression ratios for the constant quality in Blackmagic RAW. Before, when you were recording in constant quality in Blackmagic RAW, you only really had two options. You had Q0, which had absolutely massive file sizes, and then you had Q5, which was a pretty heavily compressed codec but now we have options for Q1 and Q3. This just gives us more compression ratios to work with while we are using this camera. Now, the last big part of this update is the fact that we now have Gen 5 color science inside the cameras. Now, if you were a DaVinci Resolve user and you had DaVinci Resolve 17, you actually had access to Gen 5 previously, but you had to do it in DaVinci Resolve. You didn't have access to it in the camera. Now hopping into DaVinci Resolve really quick, I wanna show you the differences between Gen 4 and Gen 5. So you can see here that Gen 4 on this clip is pretty flat. We can see how flat it is in our uh, graphs and in our charts and everything. Now if we take this and we switch it over to Gen 5, you'll notice that we get a whole lot more latitude and look how flat this image is. Go back to Gen 4. and then back to Gen 5. Like, look look how flat that gets. Look how flat that gets, and look how much more latitude we have in our image. Watch, watch this curve. Pay attention to the curve. See the difference? Gen 5 is so much flatter. This gives us more flexibility in post, and also with Gen 5, we have a better highlight roll-off. 
this is gonna help out with color grading a ton as we do have more flexibility with Gen 5. This isn't adding more data per se, but it is giving us a flatter image, which gives us more room to work with. Now, if you're not used to recording in log format, sometimes when you are recording with that, it can be kind of tricky to see what's exposed properly and what's not. So what I suggest doing is getting a good conversion LUT to Rec. 709 so you can turn it off and on, particularly when you're on set with clients. When clients look at a camera and they see a really flat image, they're like, why does that look so bad? But all you need to do is press a button on your camera and pop it into Rec. 709 and then they can see what's going on. Personally, I like to use the Buttery Lutz Rec. 709 conversion. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for me today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. I do really, really appreciate it. Let me know down in those comments down below if you guys have been using this new update 7.3 and what you guys' thoughts are on it so far. And while you're down there, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. That kind of stuff really does make a difference to us here on the channel. We're trying to make it to 10,000 subscribers before the summer hits. So if you guys could help us do that, that would be much, much appreciated. As always, remember, stay safe, stay healthy, and remember Gear Focus is always here to help you feed your passion. Peace.